a robotic gripper developed by researchers in Hong Kong capable of handling fragile objects like eggs and balloons, has been rapidly commercialized across the border in Shenzhen, China's technology manufacturing hub. Regional authorities say a commercialization agreement is obtained for high-value patent in the Greater Bay Area roughly every two hours, often moving directly into industrial supply chains. Cross-border research collaboration is also accelerating. Hong Kong scientists can now commute to research parks in Shenzhen in about 30 minutes, while research equipment can clear customs and reach laboratories within 48 hours. And there has been a 40% increase in the number of joint research projects linking Guangdong, Hong Kong and Macau. The pace of innovation is reflected in the numbers. The region now averages more than 400 authorized invention patents every day. The key to building the Greater Bay Area well lies in innovation. That message dates back to 2012, following the 18th National Congress of the Communist Party of China, when President Xi Jinping made Guangdong his first visit outside Beijing calling for Guangdong to work closely with Hong Kong and Macau to build a world-class city cluster. Since then, innovation has remained a consistent focus. During his most recent visit to Guangdong, President Xi again emphasized deeper cooperation in science and technology, stronger infrastructure connectivity and steady progress towards a world-class Bay Area. President Xi's requirements for collaborative innovation in the Greater Bay Area have been consistent over time. Unlike Beijing or Shanghai, this innovation center was designed as a joint endeavor among three regions. By leveraging the one country, two systems framework and aligning with global technological trends, the Greater Bay Area has created a distinctive model of cross-border innovation. Policies have eased the movement of people, capital, data and research resources, helping to create a highly integrated innovation network. The Greater Bay Area now hosts two national laboratories, 45 national key laboratories and more than 30 joint Guangdong Hong Kong Macau labs. It now forms one of China's most concentrated research ecosystems. That foundation is producing results. In Guangdong, construction is underway on a major deep-sea research facility. Hong Kong teams are developing a lunar surface robot, while Macau's Science Satellite No. 1 has completed more than 10,000 orbits, delivering high-precision data. Just as important is how quickly research turns into products. By combining mainland manufacturing with Hong Kong and Macau's financial and professional services, the Greater Bay Area is speeding up commercialization. In Shenzhen's Bao'an district, authorities have opened more than 500 real-world testing sites, from public roads for autonomous driving to airspace for low-altitude drones. Companies say these real-world trials cut development time and lower costs. Our cutting-edge technologies can now connect with market demand much more quickly, reducing management costs by about 40 percent. These real-world application scenarios also feed back into research and help to drive key technological breakthroughs. Emerging industries are now scaling rapidly. The region's core artificial intelligence sector alone is valued at more than 30 billion U.S. dollars. At the recent Central Economic Work Conference, Chinese leaders reaffirmed support for building the Greater Bay Area into a world-class innovation hub. Future priorities include low-altitude aviation, biomanufacturing, advanced electronics and intelligent equipment manufacturing. As we go forward, we will continue removing barriers to innovation, strengthening rule alignment and institutional reform, and deepening cooperation between Guangdong, Hong Kong and Macau. The goal is to make the Greater Bay Area a major source of original innovation and a leading destination for turning research into industry. 
The Greater Bay Area is one of China's most ambitious experiments in combining research, industry and cross-border integration. And it's an effort being closely watched by global technology and investment communities.